Good morning. I'm sitting on my metal stool that you're gonna see in the uh, after pictures. But I didn't wanna come into the camera till you kinda gotta look at this. Look at this beauty here, y'all. It's Lippy with Gemini Homestead. And I am thrilled to finally be able to do this video. Now, throughout the video, you're gonna see some befores, a little bit of the work in between, and then the final. We still have, to be continued, the master bath. But we do have one bathroom, so hey, we're good. But I just sit here in awe. I, I can't help but even look at the camera to see the background behind me. Um, I didn't think this day was gonna come. Let's see, we started what? November the 29th. The Saturday after Thanksgiving. So what was that, y'all? 29th? I think November 29th. Um, and we completed this past Saturday, and I want to say that that was February the 5th. I guess I should have got my calendar, but hey. I'm kind of like relying on the calendar on the phone, and I shouldn't be like that. I've done got into a bad habit this last year. But I believe it was February 25th. So I would say a good 10, 11 weeks with some long hours and just two of us, which Grandpa would come and help on the days he was available and to do the things that I wasn't able to do. But it's home. It's home. Now what you're gonna see is photos from before, some clips during, and some of you may have seen those, as well as the final. But at the end of the video, we've had another hurdle. I'll come back after I share those photos. Now this took place Saturday, about 1, 1.30 about an hour after we were putting the final touches here in the kitchen. And, uh, and I'll sit down with you guys and we'll, we'll talk about it. Because I do have a message. I do have a message. Right now, I am just smiling. Just smiling. But gumbo was cooked on this stove yesterday and Buddy's breakfast for his first day back to work today, Monday, what, February 7th? Y'all gonna have to help me on these dates. He had a good breakfast. He went on to work. You know, no matter what roller coaster you feel that you own, there is a stop button. I promise you, it does. It, it, it stops. It slows down and then it stops. But now we're fixing to look at the, the house. I hope I do justice on this video, y'all. It's been a while. And we cross our fingers that the new router works and this thing can get uploaded so I don't have to drive to town. I can't thank you enough. Your patience, encouraging. I mean, truly your patience. Throughout all of this, words could never say thank you enough. But I know I'm grinning. Yes, cause I am ecstatic with my kitchen. Y'all, I'm absolutely in awe. Now we will sit down in another video, cause I said I would do this and I, and I want to do this. Cause anyone that may find this video thinks, well, oh, we don't have the money to do this. You'd be surprised what you can do on a small budget. Now this stove here, it was a gift. Our shower we will install, it was a gift. And there was a few Home Depot gift cards that allowed us to finish what you're gonna see. 
and we are beyond grateful for that. But you can do a complete demolition and remodel on a very small budget. You just have to pay attention, cut your cost, not the quality, and really plan what is most important. Do you want just aesthetics or do you want something that's gonna work for you? So I'm definitely gonna put a video out and I'm gonna pull the receipts and show you and you would be surprised. And I'll give you a hint before we go to the video. You see my backsplash? The entire backsplash was $25. And according to what I've been told by floor people, contractors, it's called dirty top. I don't know, that's just what they say. Whoa, Miss Lippy's loving her dirty top backsplash. And it won't ever go anywhere. It is there, glued there, it's there. And it's absolutely pre prettier than I could have imagined. But y'all know me, I gotta shut up from rattling and get to put pictures in here. And I'll be back after the pictures because we do have to, we need to talk. Because I owe it to y'all. All right, let's enjoy the video.
Yes. Saturday, about 1, 1.30. We were standing here between the kitchen and the living room, the dining room area. And y'all have seen the picture so you know how, where the dining room sits to where I'm at. And it sounded like an airplane fell out the sky. But he, he screamed and run out the door. I froze for a second. It shook the entire house. And we had to stop and take a breath. And the first thing he did is he went into the attic to get a quick eye view to make sure that there was no immediate uh, danger to the, um, the truss, it's the, um, the framing, okay? And I forgot what he, the words he used. But anyhow, he came down and he said, we're okay. And what he meant by that is his eyes, right then he could not see something that warned us to evacuate the home. Actually, the words he used, and I'm not paraphrasing, he said the home is built like a tank. Thank the Lord. But it was very emotional at that moment. And the first thing that came to my mind, and it wasn't, oh, here we go again, was replaying April of 2020 when that storm destroyed the house. A lot of you may know that, the new ones that has just followed us, there is a video in this messed up playlist that I have that I need to truly work on and put it in order um, maybe compress some files, but anyway, that's where my mind went. I relived that horrific few minutes that seemed like forever in hours. And I just sat down. He said, we have to call the insurance company. I said, yeah. So I, I called our local agent. It directed me to the 800. Lovely, lovely lady with State Farm. And, um, told her what happened. So she opened up a claim, you know, and asked her, we okay? Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, when it hit this house, when, when that chimney collapsed, the recess lights that you just saw in the picture came out of the ceiling. They're just dangling. And you know that knotted pine that we have in the ceiling? It hit so hard that it knocked knots from the wood out on the floor of the living room. And all we can see is a hairline, well, not a hairline, but it's a pretty good crack between both uh, recess lights. We haven't seen any window cracks. Um, you know, we haven't seen any more cracks in the house but that'll be up to an engineer because according to what the adjuster said, they will be, won't be able to come till Wednesday, but we had to, um, they did allow us to, to take all the pictures, remove the heavy weight of the bricks. There's still a lot up there, but the heaviest weight they said we could remove. And I wish Buddy was here to, to really explain, but as we see where this goes. I'm sure Buddy will be available to sit down and actually explain to you what his eyes did did see. Now, I'm, I'm gonna just touch on it. I know that the cricket, it damaged it all the way to the cricket. The two faucets, and I may be saying it wrong. All of it's damaged. But what struck him was, you know, we just had that mild, but it was still an ice storm. We had quite a bit here. Um, but it was, there were sheets of ice inside this chimney. Don't know what, we, we still won't know what the failure was. Um, cause there was no damage 
up there to our knowledge. What we needed to do was redo the insert, you know, the, the insert. So anyhow, um, we will address this. But one of our fellow friends, I don't like to use the word subscriber, you know that. So one of our friends um, reached out to me. And this is exactly what I said. And I believe it still this morning. You know, you, and, and as she said, what have you, look at all y'all been through since March of 2020. The roller coaster ride, that'll be almost two years that this, this journey of a roller coaster has happened. But you know, I don't think of it like that. I believe, I truly believe, y'all have heard me say this many, many, many times. We are here to set the examples. No matter how much is thrown at you, you will see yourself through it. He didn't bring us here to stop. He brought us here and he's going to get us through it. God will get you through it. But... I look at it as, well, Lippy, or Buddy, you making bad choices in life? You know, what's happened? You know what I think is happening? Is we are so strong within our faith. We are wrapped and coveted in the Lord, okay? And the devil can't stand that. So he seeks, because there's other people in that's facing way more than what we faced. And it's just the devil trying to sneak his way in, but you see, we will rebuke him. So I could look at it as, why me? You know, there was a song out, why me, Lord? I'm not gonna ask why me, Lord. I'm gonna say, thank you for sparing our life, our family, no one was hurt. And this too shall pass and this too shall be rebuilt. Because you see, even with the hidden electrical problems that we, we didn't know about, that we got fixed, at the end of the day, I cannot tell you enough, this is home. There is a spirit, there is a, there's a peace about this place a peace. I lay my head down at night, Buddy and I do, and we thank the Lord for, for this home. My grandchildren love it. It's just a simple home, but it obviously it had poor maintenance, but I think this home was full of love. There's no other way to describe it. So to answer some of your questions, no, we didn't buy a money pit. We bought what we could afford, but we wanted to make sure it was structurally sound, and this home is. But this home is worth our labor. This home is going to bless our family. So I don't look at this, and we don't look at this as, oh my God, here we go again. I won't go in that rabbit hole. I want to be here in the moment, turn this camera thing on, and I want to show that no matter what's thrown at you, you have two choices, lay down or stand up. I say stand up. That's what I say, stand up, rebuke, make it better. It's not the end of the world. And that's, I think, is what has kept us going for almost two years. You know, it was like a light switch just turned off. Here I am sick, storm takes the house, buddy loses his job, we go to Kentucky, y'all have heard all of that. And we come back home. And it's been home 
ever since we walked in this door. You know, he never said you were going to go through life without breaking a sweat of the brow. Oh, we've been breaking the sweat on the brow. But for every droplet gives us endurance to keep fighting the fight. Mm -hmm. You know what the fight is? The fight is keeping the devil out. Keeping your soul cleansed. So you can't let the negative just keep coming in. You've got to rebuke it. And this brings me to the close. Most of you know Mr. Keith. I was having a bad couple of days, just I'm tired. You know, I am human, okay? And when he came from his coma and he said, Lippy's still talking, it was a ha-ha moment. But that man proved to me that we all have a fighter inside ourselves. We all do. And if Mr. Keith could fight for life, because he was weak, he was, I mean, he relied on his inner faith and his strength and his determination to come out of that coma he was in and go home to his wife and children. Well, by damn it, I can watch this chimney get rebuilt. I can see a new roof going on this house. And if the insurance doesn't do it, we'll just figure something out. But there is no way I'm going to lay down for something like this. Not when you got a Mr. Keith who fought to get home. There's children out there right now fighting for their life. Who's to say right now in the north there's not a young couple with children. They're standing outside in the cold watching flames being put out on their home. So who in the hell am I to sit here and go poor me? Yeah, it, it sucks. It hurts. It can be intimidating what happened to us. But at the same time, we are okay physically. And that's really the blessing in all of this. He spared us. So we just turn the camera on. We film what's going to happen. And we're going to be the inspiration to everyone out there that may run across a lippy video and know that it's going to be okay. It has to be. Because you're not going to lay down. You're going to stand up. And you're going to rebuke. And it might be some gloomy dark days, but let me tell you. There's called hope. It's common. You hope, you praise, and you work. And it'll all be in your rear view mirror before you know it. And that's Lippy's thoughts on a horrific February the 5th. We keep building. Hell, maybe I need to change my name like Bob the Builder, Lippy the Builder. Because <laughs> let me tell you what. I've become one a hell of a contractor. Don't ask me to measure nothing, people, now. I, I can't run a measuring tape to save my life, but it can. Me, I just paint and paint, and mayonnaise does not fix paint primer at your hair. Been there, done that, used a whole jar. It didn't work. Somebody told me to use WD-40. I'm going to get that a shot. Blessings to all.